from a man who thinks he's a stickler for health because he won't eat something in the fridge that expired two days before, but who will nevertheless eat processed food with enough chemicals in it to give an elephant cancer, this is The Daniel Natal Show. In our last video, we talked about the concept of democracy, i.e. a political system which requires a certain amount of property to vote or participate in government. In England, in the 1700s, William Blackstone in his legal commentaries gives the logic behind this, saying, the true reason of requiring any qualification with regard to property and voters is to exclude such persons as are in so mean a situation that they are esteemed to have no will of their own. The operative word here is being so poor that your will is not your own. In other words, you're susceptible to bribery. So many were taken by Trump because they liked the concept of a billionaire who was harder to bribe. And in fact, Aristotle talks about how in oligarchies, they sometimes permitted poor men to serve in the legislature because one, the oligarchs were too busy making money to serve in the legislature themselves. Two, they could always find a poor man to act as their surrogate. And three, poor men were cheaper to bribe. I say all this because we recently saw Ted Cruz abandon ordinary Americans and refer to what happened last January 6th as an act of terrorism. Uh, we are approaching a solemn anniversary this week, uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol, where we saw the men and women of law enforcement demonstrate incredible courage, incredible bravery, uh, risk their lives uh, to defend the men and women who serve in this Capitol. Ted went on to Tucker Carlson's show to answer for why he flipped on the American people and declared their constitutional right to seek redress for grievances from their government as being tantamount to terrorism. So I guess what I, I mean, there are a lot of dumb people in the Congress. You're not one of them. I think you're smarter than I am. Uh, and you never use words carelessly. Um, and yet you called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose. And I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And, I don't and buy that. Result, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I don't well, buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word you repeated that phrase, I do not believe that you used that accidentally. I just don't. It's, so, Tucker, as a result of my sloppy phrasing, it's caused a lot of people to misunderstand what I meant. Let me tell you what, what I meant to say. What I was referring to are, are the limited number of people who engaged in violent attacks against police officers. Now, I think you and I both agree that if you assault a police officer, you should go to jail. That's who I was talking about. And the reason the phrasing was sloppy is I have talked dozens, if not hundreds of times, I've drawn a distinction. I wasn't saying that the thousands of peaceful protesters supporting Donald Trump are somehow terrorists. I wasn't saying the millions of, of, of patriots across the country supporting President Trump are terrorists. And that's what a lot of people have misunderstood well, that comment. Wait a I second, focused, but even you yeah. wait, but hold on. What you just said doesn't make sense. So if somebody assaults a cop, he should be charged and go to jail. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. We have said that for years. But that person's still not a terrorist. How many people have been charged with terrorism? on January so listen, 6th. Like, why'd you none, use that word? You're playing into the other side's characterization that, as Joe Kent just explained, allows them to define an entire population as foreign combatants, and you know that. Of course, the real answer for Ted Cruz's behavior is that he was trying to appease the donor class, who were overwhelmingly progressive. These are nation-state-hating globalists who see the American people as the enemy. To ingratiate himself with them, Cruz adopted their worldview and framed law-abiding citizens as terrorists. You know, I, I've joked with my daughter Caroline, who's seven. Caroline's seven, Catherine's four. I've said running for president is, is, is real simple. You, you, you just have to surgically disconnect your shame sensor. Be, because you spend every waking moment asking people for money. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, The farmer imagines power and place are fine things. But the president has paid dear for his White House. It has commonly cost him all his peace and the best of his many attributes. To preserve for a short time so conspicuous an appearance before the world, he is content to eat dust before the real masters who stand erect behind the throne. I feel bad for Ted Cruz's one-time fans because they got to see someone they thought they respected on his hands and knees kissing the ring of the people behind the throne. 
Oscar Ameringer said, Politics is the gentle art of getting votes from the poor and campaign funds from the rich by promising to protect each from the other. All right, you ready? It's one year since the January 6th attack on the US Capitol, when supporters of Donald Trump stormed this building, trying to prevent the election victory of Joe Biden from being certified. On the anniversary. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, Sam. Oh. If you go to thenewamerican.com and buy our print magazine, you may notice that one of the advertisers is a company called Uline Shipping Supplies. I noticed them recently on a list of companies that support conservative causes, and that list wasn't drawn up by groups supportive of this. There are so few corporations with the spine to stand by their convictions, so whenever I see this, I'm going to spotlight it. So remember, if you need any shipping supplies for anything, consider giving Uline your business. They're standing up for America. Let's stand up for them.